Thank you very much. We'll try to get a few more tidbits before the day is over, and I'm sure we're going to have some good ones here about Track Blaster. He's in the Ohio Breeders' Championship for three-year-old Colt Pacers. Joining me now is his reinsman, Brian Sears. And Brian, obviously the morning line says he is the horse to beat. In your eyes, why is he the horse to beat? The, the horse has got a tremendous amount of talent. Um, he shows pace in 52 against older horses last week at uh, the Meadows. Um, one thing about the horse, he has a big brush. If if you use it at the right time, but he's not a real type of horse that you can start up and then uh, then try and try and back him off. All right. So if anything, would that be his chink in his armor? Is that the strike against him? Uh, that that's the only thing I can say against the horse is uh, once once you get him started up, um, you're pretty much on your way. What about facing those older rivals? Is that a, a good thing to do with young horses, particularly this late in the season, or are you against that? Uh, this horse, uh, the the competition that he's been up against the last few weeks and uh, racing the Open over at the Meadows last week isn't that much different. Um, you know, it's 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 you know three-year-old colts. They're really good, uh, good, good competition. So um, it's not that much difference. Of course, today everybody is here to watch the little brown jug be played out. He was in the jug preview over at Scioto Downs. What's your assessment of how he raced in his division? Uh, he raced fine, except uh, we elected to um, take him from off the pace and uh, they went some slow early fractions and that pretty much took us out of it. So he was a victim of the pace. I know you won't want to fall into that trap today but there is inside speed against you. Yeah there is. It's just something you have to deal with and uh, you know it's probably you know it's not as easy as it looks on the morning line I'm sure but uh, we'll just see how it goes. Brian are there drivers that can get horses off the gate faster than others or is it really just the horse and his ability to leave? I think the driver um, gets there's drivers that get horses off the gate better than others and um, you know you just have to have, have the horse ready when you're when you're behind the gate to uh, to l let him know that he's leaving before it before it starts and have him in gear. How do you feel about that? Are you one that you feel can get one off there quick? Yeah I think uh, nowadays racing the catch driver you have to be able to get them out you know top three horses are the ones that usually hit are hitting the board every week you know it's pretty much a front end game anymore. All right, if you had to point to one that you think is a threat in here against you, who would it be? I'd, I'd have to say uh, Superior Avenue is, uh, is a horse that um, depends what happens when the gate springs. I'll be on his back or he'll be on my back. And uh, then Ken Holiday with Sun Trick is, is a very competitive horse also. All horsemen love to watch the jug while they're here. Do you have any thoughts on these three elimination divisions? No, I'm just here to enjoy the afternoon and um, <laughs> race track blaster and have a good time. All right, perhaps you might be in action later today. Another Gary Martin trainee battles. Can you tell us anything about this three-year-old filly? Yeah, she, she's, a, she's a nice filly. Uh, I guess she come first up last week, got a little tired, but um, she has some ability. All right, Brian, we're going to let you get back to that sunshine and enjoy yourself before you get on to work with Track Blaster. Good luck. Thank you.